how's it going everybody so I was looking through some of my old videos and I saw that it's been almost a year since I did a tutorial on Premiere Elements 8 um, and I know this is still one of the more heavily asked for things that I've ever uploaded on YouTube um, I know these these kind of small tips and things have helped people especially since this program um, is more on the affordable side uh, it's good for getting some small projects done uh, and it's, it's a good software and the price is right for it um, so I know this is kind of a heavily asked for tutorial uh, so today I figured it's been about a year we would do maybe a keyframing tutorial uh, kind of give you a way of keyframes can kind of be used to do all kinds of stuff you can make your own transitions with them uh, just kind of add a little different uh, depth to your project that you're working on um, so you can use keyframes uh, as far as color correction, um, adding blurs to it, kind of coming in and out of a blur, add a little bit of that depth of feel maybe to something. Um, so what I figure we would do is maybe use this lens flare here. We'll put it on our picture. This is just a picture. It's not a, a moving film or anything, but uh, it'll work for what we're looking to do just to have the keyframe basically this is all it's going to be uh, is setting up the keyframes and then it'll be kind of up to you to let you you guys figure out how you want to do it uh, what, what you want to use and figure out the best way to f work with the keyframes for yourself um, so in Premiere Elements it's kind of not the easiest to do use keyframes I mean you can get some better stuff than not using the keyframes uh, but it's definitely nowhere near like a Premiere Pro or an After Effects uh, Keyframing in those is a lot easier, a lot more in depth with it. But uh, for the purposes of this program, it still can get some extra stuff done, um, kind of on a budget instead of spending the money for those professional video programs. So basically, you start out, you pick the effect you want to use. If we're going to use this lens flare for right now, um, I'm going to put it in the top left corner over here, which I know will be zero zero. Um, and I like to switch this. I like this 105 millimeter. Um, kind of a little different. It looks better with this one as well. Um, and basically, you can set the keyframe to do whatever you want. So you can any of these options that are inside of the the thing you're trying to keyframe, you can move. Um, so you can do the brightness if you want to kind of like have it get bigger and smaller throughout the throughout the thing. I mean, it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, the key thing will just be toggling the animation here, which is the keyframing. Uh, this lets it know that you want to keyframe these things and it'll make this all blue around it. And what it did when I did that is it added a keyframe right to the beginning where I had this track rat. So wherever you put the track rat and you start editing this stuff, it's going to drop a keyframe right there. So we're going to start one at the beginning. What I think we're going to do is maybe start it out at zero brightness, which is going to disappear it from the thing. So I'm going to make it look like it's not there at all. And then we'll just do pretty simple and then I'll let you take it from there. But We'll go out to maybe like two seconds. And what we'll do is we'll bring this back up to 100. And then let's say we want to move the lens flare across the top here, which should be this one. And I know this is 1920. So I know how, how far this big this is. So if you're working with a 720p, it would be 1280 across the top. Um, this one's 1080p because of the picture. Um, so 1920 by 1080 up, up and down. Um, so I know that that'll bring it to the other side. Uh, so basically what this is just going to do, what I did right now is I set the original keyframe with it not showing at all. And then at two seconds, I set the new keyframes with it at this position and this much brightness. And if we go back to the beginning, what you'll see is as we move this along here, it's getting brighter and it's moving across the top. And then once it comes to the two seconds, it ends here. Um, you could have it then... Uh, maybe let's see so then two seconds and then maybe two let's see we'll just do three and then three maybe we want to just have it die out again uh, so we'll just hit we'll make the bright uh, brightness zero moved it to three added a keyframe for brightness so now what it'll do is it'll start at the beginning it'll get bigger as it moves across it'll get brighter and then it'll fade out at three seconds uh, so you can do that with that you can do it with color corrections um, so let's just say we use the channel mix, we'll hit apply, I'll add the channel mix to my picture here, go back into edit effects, if you click on channel mix and then you hit the reset button it'll bring it back to our normal picture, 
and let's say we want to have it change colors over the, that same period of time so maybe from zero we'll hit the keyframe so boom now we have this setting for the beginning we'll go out to three seconds when that lens flare dies out no we'll do two seconds this is what we'll do we'll do two seconds and maybe we'll drop down there make it a little bluer alright so maybe we'll make you know just kinda of mess with it whatever it doesn't really matter at this point uh, we'll do that there and then at three seconds when the flare dies out completely we'll go back we'll click on here and we'll hit reset again it'll set our keyframes back to the normal picture so now at the beginning no lens flare it starts to build and move across the color is changing as well as we're coming across the top here and then three seconds we'll be back to our normal picture once everything dies out again so that's kind of the basics of keyframing um, pretty simple uh, it's you, once you have the keyframe set it's kind of difficult to edit them at, at that point like if you, you decided here two seconds you would have rather had it fade out here again it, I mean you can kind of change them if you right click on the, the clip you're putting the keyframes to the very bottom says show keyframes and if you go into like lens flare uh, brightness you can you can see the keyframes here and you can adjust and delete them and that kind of stuff um, but it's not very easy it's kind of tedious um, but it's just a way to kind of edit add a little different dimension to it uh, maybe you're making yourself an intro and you want the lens flare across it whatever it might be um, just kind of adds a little depth to it so mess around with the keyframes uh, you have any questions leave them in the comments below uh, let me know what you want to do what I should do as my next tutorial I'll try not to make it another year between tutorials again um, I'll try and think if this is you know if this is still popular I know it's been a little while now but uh, even though this is Premiere Elements 8 that I'm working in, uh, they're up to 10 now, I think. I don't think they're at 11 yet. But a lot of these are still, this stuff is still going to apply to those newer programs. It's going to be the same stuff. Um, so let me know if there's something else in there you, you need help with. Um, but other than that, it's basically, basically it to keyframing. Um, any kind of effects you can add to that, you'll be able to keyframe. Uh, so mess around with it, see what you, see what you can come up with. Um, that'll be it. Thanks guys. Have a good one.